this is behind the scenes on the black or white short film. And that's John Landis, our director. He's done so many great feature films, Coming to America, American Werewolf in London, The Blues Brothers. He's done three of my short films, and I always have a great time working with John because he's a lot of fun. I'm gonna let you do one more thinking about my baby. Because if, if the painting is beautiful, I wanna stay on it longer. If you're black or white. On a global scale, I'd rather hear both sides of the tale. Macaulay Culkin was also in the black and white film, too. And John was always goofing off, throwing stuff at us. Here we are scheming to kind of pay John back for all the messing around that he did to us on the set. We had planned this, Mac and I, way before shooting the film, that we would have a big pie fight at the end. We have super soakers, we have stink bombs in the pies, and, uh, and we... Uh, waiting for John Landis to show up. Okay. We're practicing how we're gonna do it now. No, Chin up, John. No, 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 no. And then you go, then you go. Chin up, John. No, for, um, for being so nice to us during the whole thing, we give you this, turn around, okay? Look, look, look at him, he's rehearsing. We're going to nail John now. Okay, tell me what you're going to say. I'm gonna say, John, in appreciation for working on this great video, we just wanna, and then he's gonna sneak, I'm just gonna keep talking until he sneaks up, and he's gonna hit John with the first pie. He goes, I'm gonna say, John, John? <laughs> Watch, he's so excited. I go, John, John. Yes, and boom, boom. okay. Okay, and then after he, after he gets the first throw, everybody else can start. Here it is. <laughs> This looks very suspicious. You know something's up, though. <laughs> He's, it's nothing, it's only a party. He's looking for Mac. Look. He's looking for Mac. Where's Mac? Where's Mac? He's like, where's Mac? It's very dangerous to me. In, in appreciation for working on uh, the Black or White short film, yeah. we like to say thank you, and we love you, and we think and John? And a John? wonderful job. Yeah. John? Because what, every, Mac? John. Every, what, yeah. Mac? <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, I love it. It could have gone on and on as far as I care. We're pranksters, you know. Look at John. Look at John. <laughs> Look at him, you can't recognize him. One day I get this call from Elizabeth Taylor saying she wanted to come to the ranch. She flew out in this helicopter. How are you? Hi. Hi. Is Michael out in front? I knew by the tone of her voice that something was up, but I had no idea how big the surprise was. She came out with this huge elephant. At first, I was kind of scared because this thing is huge. Eventually, I got into it feeding them carrots and stuff like that. Gentle giants, really. Elizabeth was dressed like a gypsy, and that's why we named the elephant Gypsy. 
It was one of the best presents that I've ever gotten. I was so happy that day. It was a wonderful experience. But what Elizabeth didn't know, that I was planning a surprise for her also. Oh my God! That's amazing! I love it! Oh, thank you! What's here made of, a carpet? The gift that I gave Elizabeth to me was very unique. It looks like a painting, but it isn't. That's incredible. I love that call. It's a tapestry. This guy did it piece by piece. And I wrote something on the bottom. Oh. oh I love you. Oh, I love it. Do you have a place for it? Maybe your Switzerland. No, I may have to build a house. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a shot from one of her movies. I think it's fabulous. Thank you. Did I get? Oh, it's incredible. Well, maybe you'll see one of my films on the yeah. day then. <laughs> I knew you were going to. I'm seeing Virginia Woods. Well, congratulations. I hope to see you today. It, we have to explain the joke. The last film that Michael saw me in, that he felt I was really wonderful in, was a film called White Cliffs of Dover. And I was nine years old. <laughs> so he's going to see me as a grown up. Yeah. He may never speak to me again. <laughs> it's amazing. It wasn't quite as big as Gypsy, but I think she liked my gift as much as I liked hers. And what is it you're going to do? Working with Eddie Murphy is so much fun because he keeps you laughing all day long. He's just naturally talented. The guy is incredible. As funny as Eddie can be though, there was one moment in Remember the Time that had everyone laughing, except Eddie. There was this big hunting bird over his right shoulder. As he was sitting on the throne next to Iman, in the middle of the take, the bird decided to take off, and so did Eddie. <laughs> when he realized that he was the only one who was scared, he thought he had some serious explaining to do. Well, I'm the, and I don't want you to think that that I'm running and I'm a punk because Iman didn't move from the bird. <laughs> but it's two ways to react in a situation like that. You can run or be real still. And she's just being real still. But she's as horrified as I am. <laughs> See, she was raised in East Africa. She knows if the eagle go crazy, be real still. <laughs> I'm from Brooklyn, so you run. When he comes to Neverland, he has a guitar an acoustic guitar in his hand, and he's screaming reggae songs all through the house. Yeah, just yelling. He's just funny. He makes, he'll take any situation and make it funny. I mean, that's his real gift. He's wonderful. I enjoyed working with him a lot. Michael, you're not only the king of pop, but also the king of children. We love 